Now let's move on to the voltage divider bias. So the voltage divider bias is the most widely used method of providing bias and stabilization to a transistor. In this method, two resistance R1 and R2 are connected. Across the supply voltage VCC and provide biasing. The emitter resistance RE provides stabilization. The voltage drop across R2 forward biases the base emitter junction. It causes the base current and hence collector current to flow in zero signal conditions. The beta is very sensitive to temperature changes. The collector current IC increases with the rise in temperature. Consequently, the IE emitter current increases. This will cause the voltage drop across the emitter resistance RE to increase. This is your voltage divider bias. So the voltage drop occurs across R2 is equal to the voltage of base electron emitter and the voltage of RE. As voltage across R2 is independent of IC and VBE decreases. This decreases IB base current and the reduced value of IB tends to bring back IC to the original value. Hence, one, any variation of beta will have no effect on the operating point. 